Tonight, communities in Camden are pleading for help. They say they are being forced to literally live among trash. Residents telling Action News the trash has not been picked up in days. They say the situation is a health hazard and the smell, they say, it is unbearable. Action News reporter Katie Catro went to find out why that trash is not being collected. Residents say this is more than just an eyesore. They say the smell is getting unbearable and they want something done. This is crazy. You see, I got to have a rag on my face. We got mosquitoes. We got uh, flies, raccoons, possums. Everything is in this trash. Just look at what some residents in Camden have to live with. This is what the 2200 block of Sewell Street looked like this afternoon. And take a look at the 1600 block of Pulaski Street where Dewan Truitt lives. We can't even barbecue if we want because there's so many mosquitoes and flies. Just, just, just look at it. Piles of trash, trash. You got trash there. You got trash all around here. You got trash out here. Maggots coming out of the trash. It's ridiculous. They haven't picked our, our recycle for two weeks. Nancy Ruiz says she barely leaves her house on the 1100 block of North 18th Street because of the smell. Why should we have to live like this? It smells like something dead. WM, formerly known as Waste Management, picks up Camden's trash. The company's regional spokesman, John Hambrose, told Action News summer residential waste volumes can be among the heaviest of the year. And those volumes, in combination with last week's holiday when we did not service the city, have resulted in spot collection delays. Residents say the trash is ruining their quality of life. Our streets are nasty. These streets aren't normally dirty like this. We're, we're a nice neighborhood. We're quiet. And we get this and people drive through, they get the smells and everything else, the heat, the thunderstorms, the humidity, it makes it all nasty. And we aren't nasty people that live here. WM says it is working to correct this and hopes to be caught up by some point at the end of the day tomorrow. They do apologize for any inconvenience the delays have caused. Reporting in Camden, Katie Catro, Fraction News at 10 on PHL 17.